It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I believe that everything that has happened has purpose and reason. And this is actually what I believe ever since I started with the vlogging this YouTube. Actually, this YouTube is not by accident. I know that I have imparted some knowledge and, you know, uh, techniques on how to do about farming activities. But three, four months ago, I received a letter from the government informing me that this property will be used for public purpose, for airport purposes, and they're gonna pay us. And this shaken me, actually. And I was starting to question about the purpose of this. I know that it has a purpose. And maybe the reason for this is for me to be able to refocus my farm into another venture which is more lucrative and which is more enjoyable and this is the taking care about the ornamental fish well my expertise really is breeding the several types of fish right now since we are not yet able to get the payment from the government we will utilize this property to become our mud pan and right here you will see that we don't anymore have much of these pets uh, the goats are actually here, the ducks are here. I am entertaining the idea of uh, focusing much on the production of our goldfish and several types of fish like the cichlids, even this Oscar fish. These are the things that I have in mind right now. And uh, I will let you see our ducks right here. I relax a little bit in the production of our duck eggs, but the goats are here. They're still here and they're doing well. Goats really are actually easy to manage, but we have less in the population of our chickens. We have a number of chickens right here just to produce eggs for our daily consumption. As soon as we're gonna get another property, then there's a time that we can try to have a chicken farm once more. About the rabbits, we move our rabbits to the house of my friend. And this is the reason why it's quite lonely now. Well, I'm not discouraged, but I am really trying now to divert my focus to the fish. You will see here that our fence has been dilapidated. And the uh, grass are growing now. You'll see here. There are grasses everywhere. I wasn't able to maintain this for quite some time, but we have to, you know, revive this. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to be starting to build fish ponds right here for our goldfish. We have imported lines of this goldfish and I'm very hopeful that we can produce plenty and ship even to other, other countries. That's a big dream. And other neighboring provinces. We will be filming next week as we gonna open some ponds right here. Actually, we already have started digging some holes just a, a small start and to see whether the fish will thrive here and it's doing good we'll see here i'll promise that this is gonna be developed soon we have to make big ponds right here so this is it and we have another hole here and this is actually uh, our pond for our mollies what you're gonna expect from now, from this channel, is for us to be able to really build a mud pond, a shallow mud pond for the goldfish. That's gonna be entertaining and that's gonna be fun because I can see in the future and I would like to declare by God's grace that we can massively produce these types of fish that are actually breeding now at home. So my problem here actually is the predator birds and that's the reason why i am carrying this air gun because i wanted to make my presence felt by these predators 
you know these uh, types of birds like the herons are really fish eaters they can attack the pond consume all our fish but that's normal and one thing that we can do is to adjust and make some solutions to the problem and one of which is to let this bird feel my presence so i'm here almost every morning and uh, at dawn i am trying to scare the birds and i have honed my skills in you know in firing this gun to be able to scare these birds away from this place This area is where I hide and wait for this predator birds. I have to do this because these birds, if not scared, then they will really, you know, consume all our fish and that will ruin our future. So you can also suggest what are the things that we have to do in order to address the problem. I already have provided the scarecrow. At first they are scared, but now they're used to it. They're no longer scared. That's why I bought this air gun to just uh, hit some of them and some of them will tell that it's dangerous here. They will no longer go back. What we're doing here is adding some water to this fish pond. You see that? And we hope to increase the volume of this water because there are many fry already that are about to be transferred here. I hope that we can do this the soonest possible time because we're really breeding a lot. We have batches of fish already that are about to be placed right here. I'm so thankful that there are no predator birds. I will let you see how I scare the, the birds. I have here. It's here. Let's aim our target. This is just a practice and just like to share with you something uh, how I scare our predator birds right here so we will assume that that can over there it's our target is a, the bird that is about to eat our fish and these are not ordinary birds actually they are big birds you see that one that's my target and I would like to position myself here I hope I can hit that. I know I can hit that. Uh. We will imagine that Ken right there is our target. See, I hit it. Another fire. So if that was a bird, then that bird will be really terrified. Another shot. I'm letting you see how I aim our target. Ready? One, two, five. So that's how we drive away our birds and we have to do this because if we don't then our all our efforts will become in vain. Well, patience and a lot of hard work pays off because as you can see here we have already thousands of big fingerlings of this Japanese koi. Mm -hmm. 
and they are very active you will see this one they are eating this with germ and this is their favorite food and one thing that i can tell you is that the mud pond that we have here is really doing great for our business and you will see that our koi are just 45 days old and they are already big and this is what i have told you that you can never go wrong with mud pond because this mud pond has nutrients and several types of food natural food that are available down under and this is manifested by the growth of our fish you will see that they are really very healthy and they are really enjoying this uh, food i would like to tell you also that we are regularly adding water on this and we are not dependent on the water from the outside source what i mean is my source of the water is actually the deep well and it's dripping um 24 7 and uh, it cost me just around 2000 pesos for the electric bill and this is actually a minimal expenses compared to maintaining a concrete pond and changing the water every now and then and of using the the air pump and, and the submersible pump for your filtration and uh, that's a too expensive uh, method you know this water is uh, actually coming from the deep well and it's dripping 24 hours and it gives us good uh, result and it makes our fish very healthy what we're trying to do here is to prepare another pan for another batch of japanese koi and goldfish also we are going to harvest our catfish right there and then we will use the mud pan for another batch of the breeding of our goldfish actually yesterday we were able to finish the construction of these two big boxes as a uh, the box for our fry i'm really very positive about this and i hope that in the future i can already cater the demands of supply of this uh, several types of fish i hope that i can do this nationwide right now we are only catering the demands of our neighboring provinces uh, like the Sambuanga del Sur, Sambuanga del Norte and other neighboring provinces and the islands of Tawi-Tawi and Sulu but uh, I'm looking forward to extend our market even up to Visayas and Luzon well there is no harm in you know a dreaming and as long as you have dream then it inspires you and it gives you hope it gives you courage and enthusiasm to continue on with this uh, daily activity So that's all that we can share with you so far. I hope you will still continue to like and share our videos and shout out to the members of the channel. And to the new subscribers, thanks a lot for joining. And also I would like to thank those who are making some effort to make comments in order to improve our videos and even the contents of this channel. Thanks a lot. And I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World.